Hola, Marvelites! You are watching Marvel's Pull List, and I'm Ryan, aka Agent M. E me llamo Tucker Marcus. E. You threw me off there. I wasn't expecting <laughs> you to do that. This is the show. What are we talking about? Uh, yeah, we're talking, we, we pick comics. We talk about comics. Right. We've picked four comics, uh, two of which say hola, say hello, with brand new number ones. And the other two say uh, adios. They say goodbye, uh, wrapping up some really, really excellent runs. Uh, we're starting with an ending here with Absolute Carnage number five. What? a journey it has been uh, one of the biggest stories in uh, recent marvel memory donny cates ryan stegman the entire team have brought it to the next level here this issue is worthy of being the final issue it is so massive for me one of the breakout stars of this story of the venom run that donny and ryan have been crafting is dylan brock yeah some of the moments in these issues between dylan and some other folks between eddie and dylan just add another dimension to this story which is so horrific so epic so huge the action is unbelievable and to have the heart underneath it all is really really something special this has been a great series heck yeah yeah well you say goodbye I say hello to Annihilation Scourge. This is the alpha issue, and it ties into a couple of stories in our Cosmic Marvel Universe, uh, particularly, of course, the original Annihilation that's over 10 years old at this point. And it takes little bits and pieces. You've got the Negative Zone, you've got Annihilus, Blastar, uh, Big Invasions, but then it throws in a curveball. One I will not spoil for you, but if you've read all your Marvel cosmic stories, you'll recognize the threat, the scariness, the enormity of what's here and why it makes Annihilus basically flee terrified from what's going after him. It's really cool. It is funny, it's quirky, it is dark. It is uh, everything you want out of a book called Annihilation. Yeah. Um, going from Marvel outer space to a different kind of space, this is Star Wars number 75. Another big ending here in 2015. Uh, Star Wars number one came out and it was a huge moment in the history of Star Wars and the history of Star Wars comics and this wraps up that run. Uh, it started off with writer Jason Aaron uh, and John Cassidy and then moved on to Kieran Gillen and now it's with Greg Pak uh, and Phil Noto and Greg and Phil wrap it up in spectacular fashion. We have the crew back together again. Han, Luke, Leia, 3PO, Chewie, everyone's in there. Uh, some wonderful rock aliens. And then we have, of course, Darth Vader here, uh, who uh, we're all running from, we're constantly running from him, uh, but this is a conflict that really hits home. It's really, really excellent stuff. We've been in the aftermath of A New Hope, but now we're moving very quickly towards The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, and when Star Wars picks up again in 2020 with Star Wars number one and Darth Vader number one, we will be in the direct aftermath of The Empire Strikes Back and get to explore all of that fertile ground. I could not be more excited for the future of Star Wars comics. Well, you know what else is a new hope? That is Deadpool. Yes. Issue number one, a brand new Deadpool series. He's a new hope for monsters of all kinds because Deadpool is king of the monsters on Staten Island. It all makes sense, it's all great, it's all in this story, it's a lot of fun. You have Deadpool taking on a mantle, actually being in charge of stuff. We're gonna see how that goes for him, but it's really fun, it's very quirky. Kelly Thompson just crushing it with the dialogue and the action and all those bits and pieces. And Chris Bashalo, man, he could just design the hell out of anything and make it look cool and weird and like your brain just broke trying to look at it. It's fantastic. Fantastic. It's a lot of fun, great starting point. And if you are a fan of Jeff the Land Shark, he's in this book. Yeah. Don't you worry. He's on Staten Island being safe. Is anything safe on Staten Island? Oh. I don't know. Uh, but there's so many more books for us to tell you about. Check them out on Marvel's Pull List, the podcast version. Get it wherever you get your audio. And we'll be back with another episode next week. I'm Ryan. And I'm Tucker. And this is Marvel. Your universe. <laughs>